guys. Welcome to your um, new love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your November 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. First, we're going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love first. And then we'll take a look at the new person, the new love that you could be dealing with right now or that you could be dealing with in the future. Uh, what you need to know about this individual. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. You can also apply this to your own timeline. This could be a future event if it's not happening right now. Okay. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. Uh, any of my social media platforms that you're interested in following and supporting me, the links for those are in the description box below. So tell me about Virgo. New love reading for Virgo. What is going on with Virgo and love? Tell me about Virgo and love for November 2024. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. So Virgo, we have the lovers, Gemini energy here. And also we have the star. Okay. This could be indication that there is a divinely guided soulmate coming into your life at this time. I mean, some of you guys could also be dealing with this person right now. So we have the lovers, Gemini energy, the star card. Okay. We also have the wheel of fortune. And we have the ten of pentacles. Okay. So uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like there is someone coming into your life that is the one. Could be a Gemini, could be Aquarius here, okay? You know, I feel like you will have full-fledged abundance and happiness and fulfillment with this individual here. You know, I do feel like with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Two of Wands, here's the thing. Like, some of you guys might be having a hard time accepting this here because I feel like you guys keep looking back at the past. Yeah, that is the thing here. You know, if you guys are still holding on to things from the past, it will be quite difficult here to, to accept this new love here, okay? Even if you accepted this love, there will be issues that you haven't let go of that will rise up or come up in a new relationship, all right? The uh, lovers in the Two of Pentacles here and the Star card here and the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Seems like you guys are kind of like on the fence about this here, you know? Yeah, I feel like you guys are going back and forth. You're kind of weighing the pros and the cons here at this time. But, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Seven of Wands, yeah, some of you guys are kind of like pushing this away or resisting this here. I'm not really quite sure why you guys are doing this. But, you know, it could just stem from, you know, past experiences that you went through here that was really traumatizing for you guys here. It could be one of those situations where, yeah, because of that, you guys are not ready. The Ten of Pentacles here and the Tower. I mean, your soulmate is coming into your life when you least expect it here. Your soulmate is actually looking for you here. Yeah, your soulmate is looking for you. I mean, could be an air sign that's coming in here with a Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is really curious to get to know you here. You know, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. I feel like this person wants to invest time and energy into you here. But look at this with the Six of Cups here. The past is holding you back from new love, I feel. Yeah, past experiences too. What else do we have here for Virgo? Tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Uh, tell me about this new love that Virgo is dealing with or will deal with in the future. What does Virgo need to know about this individual? For November 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. For Virgo. Eight of Pentacles here and the Hangman. Piscean energy. Eight of Pentacles here. We also have the Empress here, Libra Taurus here, and the Four of Swords. Okay. Libra Taurus with the Empress. We also have the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Wands here. Very interesting. Perhaps you guys could also be waiting for the right one. You know? You know, some of you guys could be sensing that your soulmate is close, you know. Perhaps this person could be in your orbit, but not in your energies right now. But other energies could be coming up, such as past energies, such as new energies, where these new energies 
are just kind of passerbyers. You know, they come in, they're just not really meant to last, you know. It's kind of like, you know, a one-time wow, bam, thank you, ma'am sort of situation here or that you just kind of get to know someone, but you're kind of like, you know, I'm not really vibing with this person, so I'm going to kind of move it along or maybe be friends with them, all right? But, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely waiting for the right one. I do feel like you guys are definitely, definitely destined to find someone new here. Let's say if you guys have been single for a very long time, uh, Virgo, there could be new love coming into your life by early next year. Okay, I feel like this time period, the window period of this new love that could come into your life here. Um, like I said, it, this person might not be in and around your energies right now, but this person could be in your orbit. I feel like this person could come into your life sometime around next February, between next February and next June. Okay, that's the window period here. The Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. The Hangman. And the Five of Pentacles here. Seems like you guys are definitely working on releasing your insecurities here and the trauma that you've been through here. But yeah, perhaps you guys have done all that work, all the work that you could do here. And yes, a soulmate could be coming into your life by that time. We have the Empress here because you're going from a queen to an Empress here. So you guys are definitely leveling up. You guys are going through a huge transformation here, a rebirth, okay? You guys are giving... Uh, birth to this new version of yourself basically okay and as you guys level up as you guys spiritually ascend here yes the soulmate that is meant to come into your life is going to arrive sometime during the time frame that they gave you here it could be very surprising to you guys with the four swords here and then uh, nine of pentacles and yeah a lot of guys are focusing on yourself like i said you guys could be encountering new people, but more so that they are passerbyers. That these people are just not really meant to stick around for a long time. The Knight of Swords here and also the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you will, it, it, right now in this very moment and moving forward towards the end of the year, you guys are just going to more so have more like passionate encounters, you know, sexual experiences, okay? Um, if you guys are into that. But, you know, I just feel like there's no one solid coming in right now. Oh, we have the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. Perhaps, uh, you know, this person could be an air sign or a fire sign here. Whoever this is, this person is someone who, who is very, very, very passionate. You know, someone who might be find you very attractive. They could be very attractive themselves here. Okay. And this person could be very spontaneous. Full of energy, a ball of energy here okay and i feel like this person can rock your world or blow your socks off because i do feel like this person is the complete opposite of you okay this person's the complete opposite of you but i feel like the time frame of that happening like i said i, I feel like it could be early next year to you know it's, uh, between february to um june yeah so uh, Virgo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.